Okay, so just gonna show a couple tips and tricks here. Just gonna zoom in here on my fairway that I'm working on and uh, show you, um, basically I've got this part here where I have a box here that can adjust that and then a box here. Now I can slide this box down to, to fix the bend on the curve um, so you can see how that works. And this is kind of intuitive. You just have to play with it, but you can move this to impact the bend. Now, if I want to get sharper in here, um, one of the things you can do, and see that's where you should use plus minus and not not use the, the tool. You can also add points along this curve. So if you just double click anywhere along this, um, it's going to add in another um, basically spline point there for you to edit or shape uh, modifying point whatever it may be so I'm doing my fairway here I've got a green behind it you can decide whether you do or don't want to have um, like a first cut around this there are absolutely no rules how things uh, sit as well so I'll kind of show you that if you had something say you wanted this to filter into the bunker in terms of the fairway um, kind of fall off into this bunker there's a lot of that at Oakmont um, we can do that now you're gonna see and we'll deal with this later you'll just have to fix the layer ordering and this is page down to just drop this down so it's dropping below the green there as well and it's gonna drop below this bunker so when we get to the cutout we're gonna have rough here we're gonna have fairway here and right into the bunker now I don't want to do that but in the end my point is um, don't be so restrictive and also in the start of this just get shapes down just get going and just start uh, shaping things without too much concern of perfection. Um, I think sometimes trying to be too perfect early on, um, you can't see the forest through the trees. So just get some of this done, and then ultimately you can always come back and tweak um, to your heart's content. But uh, if you just start being too specific way too early on in this project, you know, it's going to inhibit you from getting done. And my goal is that within a couple hours, you would have uh, the entire course spline so that um, you can really start getting your shapes done uh, within a day or two and your meshes and then really your course management is just going to be uh, adding vegetation uh, fixing up the terrain and that sort of thing so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here but that's just some little extra tips and tricks there